Hello and welcome to Fredbear and Friends. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at these things. Firstly, we are going to have a look at Scott Cawthon's book, The Fourth Closet, and the news about its recent leak on Amazon. Then we will turn to the depths of the Fruity Maze minigame, where we begin to uncover the lore of the minigame. And finally, we will try to fit in that lore with Five Nights at Freddy's as a whole. So, without further ado, let's begin by talking about the war that is going on between Scott Cawthon and Amazon. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. Oh, and before I forget, there are major spoils in this video. Proceed with caution, as this episode in particular talks about spoilers in the book that isn't even out yet. After Amazon leaked the fourth closet, many people were able to read the book. I was one of those people, and from the book I gleaned a few insights which I will list here. But, before I start, I want to have a little heart to heart. Please buy the book. Please buy the book. Don't just go off the spoilers. It's not worth it. It's only like five dollars on Google. For the love of God, buy the book. The ports got buy the book. Okay, here we go. John is the new Charlie. There were many missing pages from the book, but from what I read, John now suffers from the same issues that Charlie suffered from in the Twisted One. Can't focus on anything but Charlie. He has nightmares relating to her. Just like how Charlie had nightmares relating about Sammy. But honestly, I really think this choice messes with his character development, but I can understand because he's, he's been through some serious trauma. Um, number two. Charlie returns. Yes. That woman at the end of the Twisted Ones, well, it is Charlie. Sort of. Number three. Charlie is a hecking robot. Yes, what I said is true. Charlie's a robot. The real Charlie's dead. End of story. Also, she flirts with Carlton and makes him pretty uncomfortable. Number four. William is no longer Springtrap. Yes, he escapes from the rabbit suit. But he's still a living corpse. Number five. The fun times have arrived. That new pizzeria from the teasers? Yeah. That's Circus 8. Well, by the time Freddy makes an appearance, it chases Carlton and Jessica through a mirror maze. At least I think it was Jessica. I'm a bit confused because, you know, like I said, there are a lot of missing pages. I did make a mistake on the blog. I just want to let that in. I said that Ballora was the nurse bot, but turns out it's Baby. There are, like I said, there are a lot of missing pages. Um, and I didn't quite get to see those pages. So I don't know how accurate this is, but bits and, from the bits and pieces of the book that I did have left me pretty confused. All I know is that there's an animatronic woman with rosy painted cheeks that have been methodically untrapped from trap. Number seven, the clown. Do any of you remember that creepy clown from the posters behind Scrap Baby and Mother Lucky? Apparently that clown is part of an advertisement for Circus Baby Pizza World. Number eight, Charlie's middle name is Emily. The last few words of the book are part of an epitaph. Charlotte Emily. I'm wondering or not whether Emily is her last name or her middle name, but I'm leaning more towards the middle name because who has the last name Emily? Then again, there's all there's over 1,100 people with the last name Emily, whereas there are only 283 people with the last name Atkins, so it's possible. I am excited for the book to come, but from what I've read so far, I am preparing myself to be utterly confused. Once again, please, please purchase the book legitimately and support our Scott. However, there's one thing that really struck every theorist down after these spoilers were released. And that was the point that this girl is called Susie. Quote, the little girl with blonde locks of hair and a red ribbon bouncing on her shoulders ran past as well. Stop, Carlton called, and she obeyed, her eyes still locked on the drawings she had been pursuing. Who is that? 
Carlton directed her attention to the yellow rabbit flickering in and out of her existence. That's our friend! He helped me find my puppy, she explained, before running off again. Before this, she says, my name is Susie, which makes a large parallel to that girl in the minigame. Let's talk about this minigame, shall we? Watching the stream, yes, you're watching the stream. Uh, just a second. Listen to this. Right here. Yes, okay, okay, listen. Um, can I get just the car honk if I want to do it clearly because this guy is just running, still running and I cannot. I cannot hear it completely. I would just want the car horn. Is there any, any, anything? Car horn, car horn, car horn. Which one was the one that we just watched? Who is the girl who we play as the I guess that's Susie. Um, let's let's check that out. So she's wearing two ponytails uh, in a in a pink short dress. I don't know. Is, is, I don't know if it's just, if it's Susie. We do get a glimpse of Susie, right? But I have a picture of Susie. Let me. Pull an image of Susie. I have, I have an image of Susie. Um, that would work. Just a random image. Come on. Uh, browse to. I guess I have the few dumb files, and Susie's image was included. I don't have the one with Spring Bonnie. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this thing. Oh, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> Deleted it yesterday, thinking that I wouldn't need it. But okay, okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I, I wanted a full screen. But you can see she has curly hair, blue eyes, and I don't think this, don't think this girl looks like Susie. has nothing to do with it. I don't know. I don't see a fruit at all. Okay, let me hear the car on. The, the bullet trail is because she's walking on the corpse of those dead dogs. And I guess that's the trail she leaves behind. I guess that's the reason. Okay, let's hear the car honk. If it's clear here. Yes, oh my god, that is clear. That was way too much clear. I think it has something to do with it. Like, oh, that could be it. That could be it. The dead dog would be inside the car. She's trying to open the door. The car alarm triggers. And right after it says, time is up. And you see Spring Bonnie behind her. It might be William Afton standing behind her. Because, of course, she pulled, she kind of triggered his car. Trig not triggered his car. Triggered the alarm of his car, probably. So at this point in the stream, we're trying to figure out what this girl is doing. Why is she there? Why does she have this face? And why is she crying?
especially with the spring bonnie behind her. To catch you up at the moment, Warlord thinks, or Bonnie, I, whatever, he thinks that in she's inside a car, and this dead dog is inside the car with Spring Bonnie in the back window. However, there is not a lot of evidence to support that, apart from the repeated car horn. We did hear birds chirping in the background and wind whistling whilst the car horn was going off. However, that doesn't really explain a lot. It could connect to the gravestone ending where the birds are chirping. However, we're not too sure if that's just a coincidence or not. However, the good part is about to come where I step in and I explain why I think the girl is like this, especially with the lighting and the concentration and look on her face. Watch this part. Well, Spring Bonnie doesn't do anything bad to her while she's in the maze. But is that possible? Spring Bonnie was behind her and she's not freaking out because she knows that Spring Bonnie is, is her friend. There is a mirror maze in the book? Really? Wow. Now I regret asking you to spoil me a little bit. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Is this a reflection of her playing? Yeah, that could be a thing. First I thought this could be a reflection of her playing the arcade games and the game stopped. Oh, my phone. <laughs> uh, the, the game stopped uh, at a second and she could see spring body behind her. Or, oh, right, the lighting as well. Oh. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Science, why don't you stream at this point? My god. You will be praised by hundreds of people out there. My god, you make a hell of a lot of good point, man. Hell of a lot of good point. God damn it. But why would why should be she playing? Why would be? Why could be? Why should be? Any question. Why is she playing an arcade game while she lost her dog? And why is she crying? Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Here's a detail, here's a detail. Uh, in Midnight Motorist and the other puppet game, we don't see this, this stupid border, this arcade uh, screen border. This is the only game where we see the, uh, the arcade border, which means that we are playing through the eyes of someone who's standing in front of an arcade. Also, Susie has a brother. Oh my god, mind is equal to blow. Literally, mind is equal to blow right now. So what we're saying now is that we are in the eyes of Susie, who is playing the arcade games. But it doesn't really make sense yet. There's still a few gaps in our knowledge that we need to solve. And that's what I plan to do in a live stream in a minute. Let's just watch the end of this live stream, just to catch you up on a few things that I'm going to talk about in my own. Her own dead dog. Hmm. Hang on, okay. Why have I never seen that? Never seen what? I've overlooked the flowers in that white thing. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that the same thing in the first night? Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Might be. Okay, so first sec first and the second level, it's fruits. It's a cherry, orange, grapes, and I don't know why in the level three it's flowers. 
is that white thing a gravestone like for dogs you just put a small stone coffin just a little bit small wow i had to watch 10 minutes of out of context vsauce vsauce oh my god um yeah okay i just got here so what is the theory wait i'm going to explain that in, in a second sorry um wow okay 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 wait let me s- oh Wow. Okay. So the night level one is this thing. Where's the hacking level two? Okay. Orange. Okay. So the dog. Yes. So the dog replaces oranges. Yes. And people thought dog was there at level one. He wasn't. He replaced it. Oh my goodness. And here's level three. If it's gonna be load. Wow, we have some white thing. Glitching flowers, glitching grapes, glitching cherries. Dog is equal to orange guy. Oh, no, but seriousness. I'm trying to use it hard, like way too hard. Let me just chill back for a second. Because you can see here, uh, there's a little bit of poke and poke, like it's poking a little bit out. So it's something shaped like this and then down. I don't know. I don't think it's a gravestone. What could it be? It looks like, I don't know what it looks like. It, look, um, it looks like Tony Stark's phone when it was just a small one and then just it's like, um, mid-air mid display and some shit but it's just completely reversed uh, no, upside down maybe it's a pizza box <laughs> maybe it's a, oh it's a box it's a box it's just a simple box it's a 2d box because the the thing that you put above the i don't know what it's called the the one you put is kind of large larger than the <laughs> I don't know uh, why is it hard to explain, but you you get the you get a point you get a point right? It's a box where the where the thing that you put above has to be a little bit bigger to fit completely on the thing. So this is a box. It's a white box. Wow. Wow. This this could be easier. Okay, now we're gonna hop over to my previous stream. This is actually the second stream ever on this very channel. So go and watch it if you want to watch the whole thing, but I'm going to spare you the whole thing and jump to the ending conclusion where I conclude what happened in the stream and our final theory on the Fruity Maze minigame. Are you going to end the, se end, end the sentence? Okay. What's, what? Yeah, what is she? Okay, I'm ending. I'm, I'm ending. I am not listening. Okay, I'm not listening to you guys anymore. Okay. In conclusion, right now I am thinking there are many interpretations to this fruity maze mini game, even though there's only one intended thingy. My belief is that there's this girl, Susie. She is. Look, she is playing an arcade game in a pizzeria. You know, she, he could be doing the Fortnite dance. He, he could be doing. He could be doing the the Fortnite dance. Uh, <laughs> um, he could be doing anything. Oh, <laughs> I just unplugged my microphone. No, not my microphone. My headphones. Um, yeah. Basically, it's just her looking at an arcade screen. Um, 
a, she is playing this game, this fruity game, and it's alright, all she's in a maze, um, and it symbolises the fact that she is stuck. She is stuck psychologically. She is stuck emotionally, and she's stuck physically, and this is due to unsubscribe for the dance great. And this is due to the incident that happened a while back. I don't we don't know how long back. It could be quite recent. A while back, um when her dog died. Her dog got hit by a car, car went out, car alarms went off, it was in the middle of the day and it ruined her day and there was these people telling her to follow um to follow them um so that she could get out of this maze she is in this maze and trying to get out psychologically because she has psychological problems because she can't cope with the death of her dog emotionally because she is sad that her dog has died and she can't get out with the fact that her dog has died it's kind of like psychologically and physically she can't get out this pizzeria because she is locked in by spring bonnie who is about to kill her. That is my interpretation of the Fruity Maze mini game. Of course, she is seeing the events on the screen instead of the fruits, instead of the maze. She is seeing her dead dog, her flowers, and her shoebox, which were all things that happened due to the death of her dog. And I think that is how I am interpreting the um, the Fruity Maze mini game. And I'm, I might think about this more and go more in depth into it tomorrow. So be there. Um, not in a live stream, in an episode, in an actual episode. It might be like, it might be quite a long episode, but hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. And there's a bit of role play and stuff like that. Jenny, you need to send me the audio. Don't forget about that you should do that pretty soon because otherwise I will record it myself <coughs> I will record it myself and it will be people listening to me which is boring anyway see you later old sport thank you Sean for uh, coming today uh, and make sure you are here tomorrow um, I'm not but I'm picking things apart here complete the sentence I'm subscribed to the dance started chainsaw again lol whelp see you later oh yeah lol lol do it yourself no i'm not doing it myself i really want jenny to do it because i really want jenny to have a part in this channel and although the music is great i know that she can she can do stuff for us <laughs> in terms of voice acting and stuff anyway all that said and done thank you guys so much for watching i, I i'm really feeling this um throat what did I call it? Disorder. Throat disorder. I have this throat disorder right now that is really killing me. I.e. cancer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in another stream. This has been Fred Bear and Friends. Thank you for watching and I will see you all later. I just realised I need to press end stream. Thank you guys.